Let's talk about simplifying our lives and cleaning up the messes in our lives, whether they're actual physical messes or just the proverbial messes in our lives, because we all have a lot of those. So if you haven't been here before, we're Ruth and Casey, and let's get right into this. We want to talk about three messes that we normally or typically can clean up. One of them is our health. We're all about healthy lifestyle and some of the things that we do and we bring into our house is not helping us clean up our mess. No. So what do we mean when we talk about having a mess in our health? Well, it can mean a lot of different things. Maybe it's your relationship with food. Maybe it's your weight. Maybe it's your smoking and you don't want to be smoking anymore. Like what kind of things are we doing that are impacting our health in a negative way that are things that we have some control over that we can clean up, right? Whether that's quitting smoking, maybe you're vaping, maybe you're, I don't know, there's so many things we can do that impact our health in a negative way that we actually have a lot of control over. That's right. Like maybe you have a lot of junk food or processed stuff in your house. Maybe it's time to get back to basics and just have some healthy options in your refrigerator or in your pantry rather than going to chips and chocolate bars. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's that you're eating out a lot and choosing the not so healthy options at the drive through or the restaurants all the time and it's just created a mess where you know you've gained some weight and you're not feeling well and you're not getting any good healthy stuff into your body like you're not getting any vegetables. Vegetables are important. <laughs> or water. Or water right. Yeah, so there's right. all these messes that we can end up with and you know, often we're coming into the new year here. It's the messes that in our life that are preventing us from meeting our goals, right? Like if your goal is to lose weight and you have this mess of too much junk food in your life or too much drive through, it's that mess that is keeping you from meeting your goal. And so we need to learn how to clean up the mess in our life. And every one of us has a different mess, right? My mess isn't going out to eat too much because I can't afford to, <laughs> right? So that's like, right. that's Everybody... not my mess, but my mess is something different. Your mess is something different. That's right. Cause I just said before we did this video that it's time to clean out the junk food cupboard again in my house. Mm -hmm. Now I don't have a lot of junk, but I know that if I want to clean up the mess, I need to get rid of it completely. And so what do you have to do to clean up your mess for your health? Yeah. Maybe it's, maybe it's going out for a walk. Maybe you have to start something. Yeah. Because we often like to say this, do more of what works and less of what doesn't. So think about your goal and then think about what's preventing you from meeting your goal or think about the mess. Like there's different ways you can think about it and then do more of what works and less of what doesn't. So like if you can't stay away from the junk food in your house, then don't have it in your house. That's not working. That's right. So what does work? Well, it probably works if you have healthy food prepped and ready to go. So when you're hungry or snacky, there's something good to select that That's doesn't right. require a lot of work. Do more of that and do less of what doesn't work. And really you can apply that principle. It's so simple, but we don't do it. And we right? can apply that principle to all three of these areas. The next area we want to talk about is relationships. Maybe you need to clean up a oh mess <laughs> in a relationship and that's a tough one, but it might be, um, you know, surrendering your relationship to God first and foremost, but being humble. It's okay to say you're sorry. Mm -hmm. There's lots of messes we can have in relationships too, right? Sometimes they're really deep, deep rooted um, messes that we haven't cleaned up for years and years and years and there's just been problems festering on top of that for years and years and years to the point where we don't even know what the problem is anymore we just know it's a mess and we know that there's stress and tension and anxiety in that relationship but we don't even know how to get to the bottom of it and you know sometimes we need help with that sometimes we need to go see a counselor to to work through some of those things Sometimes we need to set boundaries in those relationships um, for the sake of our own health. Um, sometimes we just need to sit down and reflect. Mm -hmm. What is it that needs changing? What mess is there going on in your life? Is it in your heart? Is it with another person? Is it with a friend or a spouse? Like what mess do you have to take care of in your relationships? Yeah. Because like you said, it festers and festering just causes a whole pile of stress and anxiety. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times if you think about simplifying your life and cleaning up the messes in your relationships, a lot of the time our issues in relationships come from unmet expectations that we have of the other person or the other mm, people. Yes. And I mean, we're not talking about 
relationships that have like abuse and stuff like that's a totally different topic yeah. okay we're, that's not what we're talking about we're talking about healthy-ish relationships that there's just a mess to clean up in right um and sometimes that doesn't feel like a healthy relationship but we're not talking about abuse and so when we think about those types of relationships like what unmet expectation do you have that has caused you to feel resentful towards somebody or that has caused this festering or this mess sometimes that takes a lot of digging to get down to the heart of it and it mm -hmm. might be that somebody else has had unmet expectations on you and that's caused the issue but that's a really good place to reflect and go like where's the breakdown happening that has caused such an issue and i'm gonna just add to that is sometimes we have to just like I said reflect maybe we're being offended too quickly mm -hmm. maybe we're we're taking things you know out of context or we're taking it way too far we're being offended when somebody said something and they really didn't mean the way we took it mm -hmm. so maybe it means reaching out asking for clarity you know it's okay to have a tough conversation and that's what relationships need communication sometimes it takes a tough conversation mm -hmm. going in with love and humility yeah i think that's the key right there yeah <laughs> love and humility which are difficult things when we have a messy relationship <laughs> but i love what my one mentor used to say he used to say don't procrastinate you know if there's a mess clean it up right away like don't wait don't waste time do mm. it now mm -hmm. so you're only hurting yourself if you're waiting yeah exactly because think about both your health and your relationships with all of these messes right if you would have just dealt with it right away oh my <laughs> yeah. goodness you wouldn't really have a mess to clean up <laughs> That's right? right and that anxiety would be gone yeah exactly uh. so the third category of messes to clean up is in our finances okay Whoa. and it's yeah. <laughs> right after a shopping binge, right? <laughs> yeah. Maybe your January credit card bill is just coming up and you're going like, oh right. my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a scary, scary place to be. And so I think, again, so with all of these things, it's about getting back to the basics, right? We can't spend more money than we make. The math just simply doesn't work. And with well, so not much... only that, we are told to be good stewards of our money. Yeah, exactly. And when we're not, it causes us a lot of stress and whether yeah. you think so or not if you are living in piles and piles of debt and spending more money than you make there's a subconscious level of stress that comes with that that is just a huge weight on your back it's causing stress in your body and it's not good for us not only that if you have financial stress I'm gonna say you have relationship stress yep. if you're married and health <laughs> stress yeah right all like, three yikes yeah so what can you do well maybe it's time to set a budget maybe you're not a budget person but maybe for the first time you're going to set a budget if you need to clean up a mess that's where you can start yeah and here's the thing don't expect yourself to do these things perfectly the first time with all three categories right with your health with your relationships with your finances don't expect perfection of yourself like if you're going to make a budget for the first time in your life you're probably going to do a pretty <laughs> you know c plus kind of job yeah, because you right. don't know how to do it you've never done it before don't expect yourself to hit it out of the park on the first time if you've never looked at how much money you spend a month on groceries or fast food or fast food don't expect yourself to get it right the first time right no. give yourself some grace and some leeway to figure it out for a few months but keep working at it but if you're also wanting to stop spending so much don't go shopping unnecessarily don't say oh it's time for a shopping trip you know what we have to start to do is think about what we're doing yeah. think about what we're spending and think about where our money is going where do we want our money to go mm -hmm. because really where we spend our money shows us what we value and that's a that can be a tough thing to think about right that's right maybe you're gonna have to I'm, I'm not telling you to do this but I'm saying maybe you might want to think about this is to not use your credit card for a while maybe it's you know we're, we're a cashless society now but maybe you're gonna go back to cash for a little while just to see where your money's going mm -hmm. and how fast it's going yeah and even just to share some personal experience this is years ago already but my husband and I decided to switch from using a credit card we only use our debit card we still have a credit card um, that we use sometimes places like online and stuff don't take visa debits but when we switched from using a credit card to just a debit card our finances took such a huge turn for the better like it's incredible when we use a credit card 
it, it's almost like there's no transaction taking place, right? Because we don't even see that until our statement comes in a month later. It's not coming out of our actual account until later. So we think we have lots of money. We, yeah. just, we just know we have this much money and we have no idea what's on our credit card. Exactly. And there's no pain associated with spending that because there's no immediate transaction happening in your account, right? And so that's why cash is like so much better if you're trying to really get your finances back in order because there's a pain associated with handing over that 20 or that $100 bill. Especially if that's the all you have yes. for the week. Yeah, and then you know what you're getting back. And even a debit card is so much better than a credit card for that because you can look in your bank account balance and see that the money has come out right away. Yeah. And so, you know, that is a good Tip. place to start. <laughs> and like I said, personally for me and my husband, that changed the game for us financially when we stopped using credit cards because we were just spending too much money on a credit card thinking that we hadn't spent that much. We hadn't spent that much. And then boom, the end of the month was like, ah. <laughs> so these are three messes that you should think about. And I'm going to think about, and Casey's going to think about for the coming month. Let's start now and start simplifying our life and cleaning up those messes because it's going to make our whole life more calm and peaceful. And that's going to give us joy. And that's what we all want. Mm -hmm. Love, peace, and joy. Yeah. And just one more tip. Don't set yourself crazy, unrealistic goals when you're looking at this stuff, right? Don't tell yourself that you're going to lose 50 pounds by March 1st. Like yeah. the chances of that happening are pretty slim to none. And that's just going to discourage you when you don't hit that, right? Tell yourself that you're going to work at it five pounds at a time or with your finances. If you've got a big, humongous pile of debt, like, don't set yourself a goal that you're going to pay off $100,000 by January next year. Like that, it's too big. You can't, your brain can't cope with that. That's right. But the big thing is, is stop procrastinating. Start cleaning up the messes today. And, you know, it's like my mentor always said, don't waste time. Like if there's a piece of laundry on the floor that needs to be put into the laundry hamper <laughs> and you walk over it 10 times, stop that that's procrastination mm -hmm. like pick it up and put it in the hamper now yeah because it's literally going to take you five seconds that's right and then your brain doesn't have to see it and think about it and get fatigued over a piece of laundry on the floor mm -hmm. in fact i was watching a, another reel or short or something the other day and i don't remember who it was from to give credit to but they were like sometimes and i'm not saying that this is for you but this is for me sometimes i need to start saying no to myself and yeah. we live in this world where it's like like that's so bad that we can't ever say no to ourselves but sometimes we need to say no to ourselves and exercise some self-control and some self-discipline or sometimes it's not that we need to say no sometimes it's that we need to say get on it and stop procrastinating <laughs> right like do more of what works and less of what doesn't work <laughs> exactly that's really the bottom line <laughs> We just want to thank you so much for being here. If you're still here watching after this length of time, we would love to invite you to subscribe to our channel. Uh, we work hard at putting out content that is uplifting and that is Christ-centered. And so we would love to have you here to be part of that community. So we always like to end our videos by saying, remember this, you are a beautiful woman chosen for greatness.